Hey, what's up guys? Hyperdark19 here, bringing you my second deck of the new format. Uh, last week, I brought you my Malefic deck, and this week, I'm going to be showing you my new version of Heroes. First off, one copy is Elemental Hero Stratos. Um, don't really have to explain this. If you're running Heroes, you gotta run Stratos. Three copies of Elemental Hero Neosalius, um, also pretty much a staple for Hero decks in this day and age. The only other three monsters in this deck, like I said, only seven monsters in this deck, are the namesake three copies of Elemental Hero Bubble Man. Um, you really don't see this guy being played a whole lot ever, uh, but the, po the whole point of this guy is if you have no cards in your hand, you can special summon him. He's a level four, which makes for good um, rank four Ixyz summons, like I said, Blade Armor Ninja X especially, being the focus of this deck. Um, also, he has the added little ability of if he's summoned like this and you have no other cards in the field and in your hand, you draw two cards, which makes him an excellent top deck late in the game. Monster Reborn, good card is good, don't have to explain it. Dark Hole, like I said, pretty much a staple. No Heavy Storm in this deck because I do run a lot of back row, however, because of that, I do have to main triple MST. Um, a lot of decks are running this now, you pretty much have to, all the people are going for... Um, a lot more back row than they were um, six months ago. So yeah, um, definitely a good choice for the current format. Two copies of Pot of Duality. I've made my point before how I don't really like running three of this card. Um, two is excellent. You pretty much need this card to be competitive. Um, stins the deck, searches your good cards that you need immediately. All around great card. Book of Moon. Um, people don't really run book anymore. Uh, a few people are starting to throw it back in at one. I personally think it's a great card right now, mostly because it wrecks Xyz monsters, which is pretty much what this format is all about. And also, it stops your opponent from making um, big pushes with just one monster. Rhoda, obviously, searches out all your heroes in this deck. They are all warriors. Um, pretty much gets anything, acts like another monster. Three copies of E-Emergency Call. It counts as three more monsters, essentially. Searches any of your heroes. Yeah, um, you pretty much need this if you're only running seven monsters in your deck. Two copies of Gemini Spark. I do not run three simply because I don't have more than three targets in the deck for this thing. Uh, and I do have some cards that can get them back, obviously. But yeah, I wouldn't run more than two Sparks just for consistency reasons. Three copies of Miracle Fusion. Um, what I can't really say much about this card. Well, that's already That hasn't already been said. I mean, it's broke. Um, it's fantastic. It's wonderful. Um, you can basically, with no real disadvantage to yourself, get a big-ass monster out on the field with a badass effect like Shining, Zero, pretty much any of the heroes, um, any of the heroes that you need immediately. Two copies of Super Poly. Uh, once again, I don't really like running three just for consistency reasons, and especially with siding, but I would probably side a third just in case uh, what matchup you're facing. Two copies of the relatively new card, Mask Change. Um, until Masked Hero Acid comes out, this is a fair card, but once Acid does come out, this is going to get a lot better and expect to see a lot more play out of this thing. Really, it's just another method of getting big beat sticks out to the field in relatively fast time, and it's a good surprise factor for your opponent, especially depending on what mask Heroes you tech. Really, I only have Bubble Man in there, I don't have a Fire or anything else, so I mean, or an Earth or anything like that, so yeah, I mean... This is pretty much for Bubble Man. Or Absolute Zero is a fantastic target for this because not only do you get a new Mask Hero out, but you can blow up your opponent's entire field. So, yeah. On a, and a, on a quick play spell, this is really good. Traps, like I said, this is a pretty back row heavy deck. Uh, first off, we have Bottomless Trap Hole. Um, pretty much people prefer Solemn Warning over this card generally, but I like it in the Dino Rabbit matchup a lot. Um, and also, I already have warnings in this deck as well, so can't hurt to put a little bit more meta hate in there, so definitely putting them in the bottomless. Two copies of warning, um, pretty much a staple nowadays. Um, not much to say, it's a great card. You pretty much have to run it. One copy of Mirror Force. It is, um, like I've said before, this is a good card. Um, people are dropping this in favor of other cards. My opinion really is that you got you got to run this. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't. It's I've, I expressed my opinion on this in my last video. It's never a dead card. It's always great to have it and know that it's there protecting you. Got your back. So 
I would always include Mirror Force. Yes, the full two copies of Torrential Tribute, unlike in my last deck. Um, this deck needs a little bit more uh, field clearing and control because the monsters starting off aren't necessarily as big. Even the boss monsters like Blade Armor Ninja and even Zero aren't necessarily as big as some of the stuff your opponents can play. So you need a little bit more board control, and that's why two Torrentials are in. Solemn Judgment, it's solemn. God says no. You all know how good it is. I'm not even going to touch on it. For more negation, we have, once again, two copies of Dark Bribe. Um, I've gone over this in my last video. It's really good right now. Protects you from the heavies, from the MSTs, from dark holes, from anything else that might screw you over. Uh, we have a, even a little bit more added negation with the addition of Starlight Road. Um, most people are not using this card in favor of the new card. I believe it's called The Huge Revolution is Over. Um, but I still find Starlight Road to be superior because not only do you, are you able to negate something, but you get a free monster out of it. Um, a lot of people also don't value, undervalue Stardust Dragon now because there's so many, um, there's really, Synchro is really dead and there's not a whole lot of options to play it, but once you do get a Stardust Dragon out off of Starlight Road, your opponents are going to have a really difficult time because they'll have to think twice before the MST or Heavy or Dark Hole or anything like that. And last but not least, we have one copy tech of Hero Blast. Um, this card, once again, I only play one because of consistency issues with there only being three targets in the whole deck. This thing is good because it pretty much is your backup against Thunder King. Thunder King is this deck's worst enemy. Um, it shuts down your special summons, it shuts down your searches, um, it really hurts. So Hero Blast is one way to get rid of the Thunder King problem, or the Doom Caliber, or anything else like a Spirit Reaper especially that might be giving you issues, because this deck really has problems with things that can't be destroyed in battle. So yeah, especially things you can't super poly. Two copies of Blade Armor Ninja, the namesake partly of this deck. Uh, Blade Armor is really undervalued, I feel. Um, with only 2200 attack, it's easy to understand because he seems weak at first glance, but something that's able to double attack um, twice, like two turns in a row with 2200 is not bad at all. I mean, we've all seen how broken a double attack is on something like Black Blackluster Soldier, but with this, when it can attack your opponent directly twice, that's 4400 damage, more than Blackluster Soldier can do, because it has to kill a monster first, obviously. Um, that's really good. And I mean, if you get two of these guys out on an open field, that's a good game scenario. One copy of number 39 Utopia, great generic rank for your backup if you run out of blade armors or if you just need something that beats a little more face. Um, or if you need to stall, just an all-around great card. One copy of Stardust Dragon, no tuners, only reason this is in is for the Starlight Road. Three copies of Absolute Zero, this is pretty much a staple for hero decks. I mean, this is the best of the heroes, uh, without a doubt. So, yep, board clearing effect on a 2500 body, um, really good. Also, in combination with mask change, this guy can be deadly. I have two copies of The Shining. If he ever dies, you get your advantage right back because you get the removed heroes back to your hand. One of the newer heroes, Great Tornado. Um, I've been over this guy before. He's, I don't really use him that often, but with all the wind monsters in here, Stardust, Blade Armor, Stratos, this guy's a lot easier to summon than he is generally. Also, this guy's ha attack having ability, if your opponent can't stop that, that could be deadly. It's against something like a Black Cluster Soldier. Nova Master, mostly for the Dino Rabbit matchup. If you get this thing out by super polying one of their Dino Ixies and keep it out, um, it's pretty much going to draw you cards and beat face because they really don't have anything up to this power level. Next up, Gaia. Also, there's no targets like Nova Master, but it's for the Super Poly, pretty much. Two copies of Mass Hero Vapor. Until Mass Hero Acid comes out, I've got two of these guys, probably going to go for one and one once it does. Um, Vapor is actually really good because not only can you get him off Absolute Zero, but he's got 2400 and he can't be destroyed by card effects, which means they can't... Um, they can't mirror force him, they can't torrential him. He becomes very difficult to get rid of. We have Dragon Knight Draco Quest, pretty much a staple in any deck that runs Super Poly. May not necessarily be as good now that Synchros aren't seeing as much play, but I still like to keep it in there just for the backup. That's it for my Bubble Blade deck. Uh, please, once again, feel free to rate, comment, subscribe, um, anything. I always love to hear people's opinions and discuss um what the form what, what your opinions on the format and whatnot so until next time this is hyperdark19 peace out youtube